This is a tutorial on how you can use the ontology visualization tool to learn about the variables that have been used to predict cooperation in past research. The CODA team has annotated whether studies have manipulated or measured over 250 different variables that have been used to predict cooperation. This visualization tool includes all of the independent variables that have been annotated and the relative size of the circle indicates the relative frequency that variable has been studied. For example, you can quickly see that punishment-related variables have been studied more frequently than communication-related variables or group size. Now you can left-click and zoom in on any one of these topics. So for communication, you can see that studies can or studies have manipulated or measured uh, communication types, communication occurrence, and the content of communication and related this to the outcome of cooperation in studies. You can further zoom in and look at, for example, the communication types are written, verbal, and nonverbal. And when you hover over one of these circles or topics, you're given the definition of that specific topic at the bottom of the, the visualization tool. Now, you can do that for any topic within, of course, uh, communication studies. Communication could be ongoing within the study or only one shot, or the study might have manipulated or measured a specific type of content of the communication. Now, I'm going to zoom out and zoom back into one other topic, personality. And for personality, we have different types of variables, including individual difference variables, psychopathology, what type of SVO was uh, coded, and the individual difference level. I'm going to zoom into one of these here, which is individual differences. And here you see all of the individual difference constructs that have been measured and related to cooperation in past research. If you hover over the circle, you're given the definition of that construct, and you can quickly see also by the relative size of the circles which constructs have been studied more frequently relative to others. Now, alongside this visualization tool, we also have a table that provides a list of all of the independent variables that have been coded to be related to past re, uh, cooperation and past research. Uh, the variables are listed alongside their definition or descriptions, and including also the values that could be assigned uh, to studies based on uh, uh, what they have measured or manipulated regarding that variable. You can list up to 100 of these at one time within a table. And if you go down, I just want to draw your attention. For example, all of the communication variables are listed here that uh, would indicate their definition as well as the possible values that could be assigned uh, for that specific variable. Now you can also go up here and use a search bar to look for something very specific. I might be interested in framing. And I can quickly obtain all of the variables that have been uh, annotated for framing, their definition and the possible values that could be assigned for that variable. I can do the same for another topic, my personal interest, reputation, and here again, I can receive, retrieve all of the variables that are linked to the concept of reputation, their definitions, and the possible values that could be assigned to these variables. It's our hope that this visualization tool and table will allow you to quickly orient yourself to the literature on human cooperation, that you can learn about what topics that have been frequently studied, in past research and which topics you may be able to perform meta-analyses while using CODA.